my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Alright guys, so let's jump into Photoshop and then I'm going to use the normal size I've been using. I'm going to use 1500 pixels here, 1500 pixels here, 72 pixels per inch RGB and then white. It's all because it's for social media handles and for digital screens. I'm going to call it Church Flyer and then I click on create. Then I'll set my rulers. All right, so the first thing we are doing is we are going to bring a solid color and then we are going to use this particular code. Now we are going to bring um, our fire in there. It's not even fire, but it's more like a coal. But we are going to do this because we want to boost the background. We want the background to be quite cinematic. We don't want it to, we want it to be dramatic. We don't want it to look too boring so we're going to use this particular wallpaper and we're going to set it to multiply so it's in there somewhere but then is the dark side is still not really boosting so let's give it a curve and then we just drag this side like this clip it to it and then drag this side this way so now the the dark side looks quite darker and that's what we want to go for also, we don't want the detail to really show during the flyer, so let's give it a blur. Let's go to filter and then let's go to blur and let's go to Gaussian blur. And then I want you to set it to 8.6 the radius and then click on OK. So it looks quite blur and that's what we are going for as well. Now let's also go for a texture. And then just enlarge it okay so something like this is good but then let's um, set it to linear light let's see let's set it to light and let's see let's set it to linear burn this will do okay so you see this side looks um, quite brighter a little bit this side looks darker that's what we are going for let's Click on our rectangular tool and let's go for the ellipse tool and then just draw something like this. Go here and change the color to color white. We are doing this because we want to add some details in there during the course of our, our editing. So something like this. But then we can still come back and come and work on it. So let's duplicate it and then let's drag it like this. You can always come back and come back and work on it. So double click here and let's give it this particular color. Okay, so let's put everything in a folder and let's call it background or shortcut BG. I also think that the white is sticking out too much so perhaps i'll just drag it in there and then do it something like this okay so let's start with our team click here and pick cloud let's paste it there i'll go to your character and then set the color to color white. We also want to use this particular font back to black demo. And then set it to regular here. Let's use this particular font size 258. Nice. Click here. We want to make sure this is off. Also, we want to make sure that tracking is zero. And this is what we are going for. And then let's center it. Alright, so now let's duplicate it and bring it down. And then let's pick fire. And 
and paste it there. Bring the F down a little bit. Structure it here. Okay, let's see. Now you can see it's in there. We don't want that to happen. So let's go here to the tracking and let's set the tracking to 60. So you can see now it's now gone. So send it here. Let it be somewhere around here. Pick your ellipse to draw this particular shape. And drag it somewhere here. Let's change the color to C4318. And click on OK. So now this is going to be a color we are going to be using almost throughout. The theme color we'll be using almost throughout. Let's type here and then type end. Drag it in there. Resize it a little bit. In fact, let's click on our character and then let's choose Helvetica. Let's set a size to 88. And also let's set the tracking to 60. Let's change here to color black, the font color. And then let's drag it up. Can it make sure it's in the middle of the circle? Or at least it appears to be in the middle of the circle. Alright. Now let's click here and then pick the rest of our details Priya service and paste it here. Change the color to color white. These are the primary colors. These are the two colors we'll be using often. So let's set it to Helvetica still. Make it regular. Let's set the font size to 25. And then let's set the tracking to 220. Alright, now let's also set it to white here and then click here. Push it somewhere around here. Duplicate it and bring it down. And then pick 2021. Let's paste it there and drag it somewhere in the middle there. But then let's set it to railway we want it to be quite lighter so let's click here and let's set it to light the still using the same font size 25 and then the same tracking to be 220 and so this is how it will be let's zoom out and see okay so now this looks quite good let's put it in a folder and let's call it theme the next thing we are going to work on is the image we want the image to appear on this particular side and so let's go and pick our image let's pick this gentleman let's see let's drag this somewhere yep okay all right so with this particular image let's give it a level let's pick this level and then clip it to the image now we are going to leave this you're going to leave this the same but this let's boost it here a little bit zero one five six looks quite good i'm doing this because of the background i want there to be a little contrast in his um, attire to blend it in nicely and then let's set this to Seven to two. All right, let's do this the same. Click over here on the mask, and then click on your brush. Set the flow to around forty. Make sure your caps lock is also off, and then here is color black. Choose a soft, round brush, and then set the hardness to zero, and then just click on the face. Okay, so, so the effect only applies to the image. Let's bring in the next one as well. Let's bring in the middle. We want to put this one in the middle. Resize it. And drag it in there. Now we are using your face as a way to measure how 
the image whether it's proportionate or it is not. So use use the their face or their head to measure whether it is good or we should reduce it. So I think their their head size is quite the same. Let's push this down. Okay. Now with this, let's also give it a level. Clip it to it. Let's boost this side to 67. And then let's leave both sides the same. Also click here. Click on your brush to and then just mask the face a little bit. Let's bring the third image. Let's bring this gentleman here. Drag him in there. And then flip horizontal. Now there are white strokes around the shirt. We don't like it. So hold control and click over here. So you see dancing ants around the image. Go to your select. Go to select and mask. Now once you go there. This is going to pop up for you. Set the transparency all the way here. Boost the um, the radius up a little bit around six. Then set around six. Set the smooth also up. Leave the the feather like this. The contrast. Drag it up. Drag the shift down, and then click on decontaminate colors. Click on remember settings and then click here and then look for new layer with layer mask and then click on OK. This way it's going to take everything out of the delete the original picture and then this one let's resize it. Remember we are making sure the head size is almost the same. OK so let's drag this one also behind and then let's see how it turns out. Let's give him a level. Clip it to it. And then boost it down a little bit. Just a little bit 20. Click on the mask. Click on your brush. And then click the face. Click. And then go for curves. Clip it to it again. Click here and go to red boost red up just a little bit just a little bit and in fact you can also drag here down and drag here down just a little bit or up just experiment we just want a little bit of the red in there okay let's put everything in the folder and let's call it images let's see okay now let's bring the names there click here and pick pasta anoche paste it there open this and then let's set it to railway let's also set it to medium the font let's change the font to twin font size to 21 and then the leaden Let's change the leaden size to 22.51. Okay. And then the tracking, we are setting it to 220. And then click over here as well. The color, double click here. And then the pasta, select the pasta. Click here and then pick this particular color. That's the color we are going to be using almost throughout. Now I also want you to click here and then click on the left align. Let's zoom in to really pay particular attention to the details. Drag it somewhere here. Okay. Duplicate it and drag it somewhere here. Click on right align. Let's pick the rest of the detail let's pick this prophet jojo copy and then let's paste it here 
double click it and then let's pick up to here let's change it to color white yes and then send it somewhere here duplicate it and this time bring it somewhere up click here and right middle <laughs> middle align it somewhere here okay so let's pick the details as well this one is a pasta let's double click it and then select here let's change it to color white oh boy let's select everything here set it to color white so we are done with the names it was quite easy let's call it names let me send the theme up a little bit all right so the images well i think we are not yet done still let's bring more effect in there so let's bring some fire in there let's bring this fire drag this fire in there and drag it somewhere here drag it down behind them this is supposed to be clipped clip it clip it all right so this is it let's move the fire somewhere here all right now click above it as well and then let's pick the last fire effect this one it's fire particles so we're going to do it somewhere like this and drag it here go here and click on screen so you can see the effect on the altar and this is what we want now you're done with the images okay so let's start with the details click somewhere here and then let's pick theme paste it there click here and change the color to this now let's start working on the details of the theme we are setting it to railway but then let's make it bold here also the font size let's make it quite bigger let's make it 40 what is quite bigger and then the tracking let's set the tracking to 60 so that it becomes more compacted and then the color is like this also make sure this is off doesn't really make a difference but let's see let's bring this here and then drag it here click here and then click on this so that we have all of them becomes right aligned duplicate it want to bring it down like this now let's pick the rest of the details let's pick open heavens and paste it there change the color to color white the font we just change and use a different font let's use new times new romans and then this looks quite small so let's make it quite big let's set the size to 53 and also let's make it bold over here making it color white and then let's make the tracking zero so something like this is quite good duplicate it and bring it down and then let's pick this detail unless the heavens opens the land shall perish i believe your client will give you something to you so click here and let's use railway and then also make it medium let's set the font size to 20. So we are not using one particular font size throughout let's set the track the leading or the leading to 23 point three nine so you can see we are not using the same font size and then the same font color throughout and we are also not using 
the same font as well we are just playing with the size the color and then how bold and how light it is this makes your tech look very very interesting okay so let's do something like this let's bring the theme up a little bit nice let's duplicate it and bring it down again and then let's pick date let's paste the date there I don't like the font we are using so let's go for Helvetica then Helvetica set it to bold set the size to 40 and then the tracking let's set the tracking to 60 over here and then also let's set it to color white in fact let's click here and select from this side going to color white okay duplicate it then let's drag it down let's pick the time and paste it there double click it and pick this one select it to color white okay let's see duplicate it again and bring it down location and let's paste location there let's change the location the font to railway and also let's set it to medium here then let's reduce the size to 23 and also make it bold over here as well and then the color let's set the color to this particular color the theme color and then let's drag it up around here duplicate it and bring it down again and then let's pick the following details let's paste it there change the color to color white and also let's set it to hell vertical let's make it regular here and set the font to 19 and then the tracking let's set the tracking to zero and then the leading let's also set the leading to 22.51 change it to color white here can drag it a little closer select these two duplicate it and drag it down Let's pick also mini string and paste it here. And then let's pick from here to here. And also paste it there. Okay. Now let's put all these in a folder. And let's call it details now let's bring it quite down a little bit okay so somewhere it's quite good pick set bunny set k bunny ministries let's type here let's drag it somewhere here set the font size set the font to railway let's make it bold here Let's also make it 18 here. The leading, let's make the leading 21.43. And then let's make here zero the tracking. Also make it bold here and make it black. Okay, so let's place it somewhere here. In fact, let's bring this here. Double click it and click on ministry and then make it regular and also set the tracking to 140 let's zoom in okay 
Okay, duplicate it and bring it down. Let's pick this and paste it there. Now we are also going to make it real we and set it to extra bold. Then for the font size, we are going to set it to 26. We want to make it quite bolder. So that I can differentiate from the rest of the text over there. Make it bold here as well. Set it to color black. Duplicate it again. And then pick your telephone number that people who want to participate can call you on. Now with this one, because of the font doesn't work well with numbers, we are going to set it to hell vertical. Let's make it bold. Let's set the font size to 31. The tracking, let's set it to 60. Make sure it's bold over here and make it black as well. And so we're going to make it something like this. Select all of them and drag them up. Then let's go and bring our YouTube and Facebook live. Because we'll be streaming live. Resize it and bring it somewhere there. Keep resizing it until it fits into the entire mix. Bring it quite closer. Now let's put everything in a folder and let's call it registration. Let's see how everything looks like. Let's bring the details here a little bit. Looks quite far. Let's bring the registration also here a little bit. Okay. All right. Then let's bring our logo here. Set Kweku. Paste it there. Change it to color white. Let's make it impact. Set it to 22. Make sure it's also regular, it's color white, this is off, and here is zero. Let's zoom in to see everything clearly. Duplicate it and bring it down. And then let's pick ministry. Let's paste it there. For the ministry, we are going to use real we set it to regular set it to 22 as well but then the tracking let's set the tracking to 300 and then let's also make it this color click here to make all of them capital letters and drag it up like that then let's go and pick our logo drag it there let's call that folder logo and then let's let's make sure it's centered let's drag it down a little bit we can do it like this or we can also pick it and come and put it somewhere here. It all works well. It all works well. I think I'll put it somewhere here. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how you create this type of church flyer. And so if you love this video, please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel as well. So that anytime I release new videos, you won't miss out on any of them. And also like this video. I love you all guys. See you in the next tutorial. Peace.